Well, you know, uh, we say everything happens in God's time. You know, it could have happened this 20, 21 years. It could have happened in 2006. We was offered a deal and it, and it didn't happen for the reasons that God didn't want it to happen at that time. It could have happened in 2014. Same. We have met with Kanye and he, you know, felt like he, you know, he would have loved to see that at that moment. But, you know, people had other agendas for him. So this time we just, you know, all everything just lined up where we were like, okay, it's time to just do it ourselves and then show Kanye, you know, the sizzle in which we did and Kanye fell in love with, with what he's seen. Um, and so we knew that was time. And then also not for nothing, you know, the pandemic, which shut everything down. I'm, I'm a party animal, you know, I kick it. I, you know, I, I'm out and I'm, you know, we focus on so many things, but when the world shut down, that set me down and Chike down and our editors, which we just finished working on a kid from Coney Island with Jason Harper and Max Allman and, and Byron, it set us all down. We can go through this 330 hours of footage and a few terabytes of hard drives to, to, to be able to, to construct this story. And, and also the, when we partnered with time, you know, when they, they just jumped right on board with us. And, and I got Nick Tran, uh, was, who was the CMO of uh, Hulu at the time, he put together investment group, like, man, we we're about to help y'all make this happen. So we, we did it ourselves, man, because we felt like it was important, you know, at this moment for us to show the world, you know, this, this journey, you know. Uh, from my understanding, he hasn't seen him yet. He hasn't watched it yet. I think it's, I mean, I think it's going to be heavy. I think it's going to be a, a very emotional watch when he watches it. I can only, I, I can't let my imagination get in the way of God's manifestation as far as like what his reaction will be. Um, I think he'll really enjoy the film and I'm definitely looking forward to, we both are looking forward to him seeing it for sure. Yeah, when I went to go show him um, during his birthday, I set up, which is June 8th, I set up, a, a screening with everybody that was there with him from the beginning who loved him because I knew we all had to be there with him when he watched it. I said, you have to watch it with us so we can laugh together. We can reminisce. We can cry. We can hug, embrace, you know, that's how I feel he should watch it. And, um, and when I seen him recently, he just said his process is different. He said, he said he didn't watch his drink champs. The only moment that I felt that way was um, when I was in DR recently when he was running for presidency and um, and when he started going into what y'all what people call a rant, you know, which I never experienced on my in, on my lens, you know, so not only that, I felt like, oh, I have to pay attention because he is my brother, you know, so I'm like, let me pay attention to what's going on. So. That was the time when I really felt uncomfortable was towards the end. But other than that, we kept the camera rolling, man. We were having a ball throughout, you know, throughout the whole journey, even when we reconnected after after his um, breakthrough, you know, uh, on, on the St. Pablo tour. We reconnected and um and you know that was that was the same Kanye that I remember in, in on his that I filmed in night on 95th in Chicago on the South side was the same dude, you know, besides he was super famous. <laughs> um, like any friendship, because really, you know, I'm like years older than Kanye. So, so friend, yeah, we're friends, but we more we became more brothers. I think when 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 I met Mama West for the first time, she pretty she adopted me. She adopted all of us who was around Kanye as as our kids. You know, we called her Mama West. So that that alone, and then you know, with any family, you know, you have your ups and downs. But no matter what, you're gonna be there for your family. You love your family, you're gonna be there. So I think that's 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 our relationship, more brother brotherhood, and you know, 
that's how we that's how we move. So and I understand, you know, a, a little brother gonna get out and ha- have a ball. He ain't gonna always listen to his big brother, and, you know. So <laughs> and big brother wasn't around a lot. <laughs> Um, I definitely think Jesus walks like after that record. I feel like that record definitely catapulted and defined. Like, you know, that's one where we really got behind him. And after that song, I'm like, man, we might be dealing with like a, a Martin Luther King or somebody here that could really make some real change in the world. Not the same way, but in a way, you know. So I feel like to me that that song let you know who you was dealing with. Y'all, there's 21 years in the making. I'm not gonna say it's not a way that I could fail, but hopefully with God's blessings. There shouldn't be no way for me to lose, really.